All right, folks, happy Saturday. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are staying safe. Uh, I'm Travis, of course, the owner of Valkyrie Fitness. And today we're talking about your Saturday home workout. Uh, just pick the different area of the gym right now. It's very humid everywhere. So just trying to make sure um, we can go through these movements without too much interruption um, and kind of let the, the gym dry itself down right now. But if you are here, that means you're here for one thing, and that's to learn about what you're doing in today's workout. If you already knocked out the workout because you're familiar with some of the movements, you've been able to get after it, awesome job. Hope you guys are putting those Metcon times down because um, today we got 12 minutes on that Metcon, and your goal should be about two to four, possibly three or more, probably is a better way to look at it, rounds of that work. And of course, make sure you have your cardio options. All right, let's get to the first part of the workout which is that activation. You guys got three rounds. You're gonna be doing jump lunges. So your normal jump lunge, 10 total. Or if you're not able to do the jump, I would prefer you hit that static. So we keep that time under tension. Hit that 10 on, um, oh sorry, five on each side for a total of 10. Once you get done with that, we're gonna hit some inchworms. Inchworms is a great way to kind of warm up that low back, warm up those hamstrings. Uh, you're going to walk out into a high plank. Go ahead, drop those hips down, raise that butt all the way up, and then inch those feet up, stretching out those hamstrings. Um, we can show from the other side. So make sure you walk out to that high plank. Drop the hips, raise the glutes in the air, and slowly inch yourself all the way up or as best as you can you guys got a total of only five of those get used to that movement because inchworms is something you'll be seeing a lot not just as activation but also in cool down um, and then jump rope or jump in place give me 20 reps of that so get your jump rope out hit 20 or just jump in place giving yourself a total of 20. i like hitting the sides because it kind of mimics uh, when I first started learning how to do double unders in CrossFit, I would do penguin jumps. Big shout out to homies down at Ready to Live for showing me that. All right, so three rounds. Jump, static lunges, inch worms, and then a jump rope or jump in place for 20 reps. Okay, once you guys are done with that, go ahead and pull back out those lovely sliders. If you don't have them, find that slick surface that we always talk about. Okay, so you can go through your slider series. First thing you're gonna be doing, uh, use a rag, of course, if you have one. Towel is great also. Reverse lunges, okay, you're gonna be stepping back. Make sure you're driving through the heel. Show you guys from the side. Switch those foot, make sure you get that good ball of the foot in. Step back in that reverse lunge, drive through that heel to bring you back up. Okay, you got 15 of those on each side. Once you get done with that, then we're going to go to pikes. Pikes are going to be a little bit more challenging. We do have a couple options, okay, with the pikes. Get those balls of the feet into the sliders. Try to keep those legs straight. Pike back out or hit the plank. Pike back up. Knee tucks is also a great option for right now. So if you're not able to do the straight leg pike, um, I would say go ahead Throw that into a knee tuck. Um, you guys got a total of five of those. If you do a knee tuck though, I would say take it up, maybe do 10, eight to 10 if you're gonna do knee tucks. Um, but if you're able to keep that straight leg pike, work that straight leg pike. Um, don't worry about your mobility, it'll happen over time. Just keep stretching and then you'll be able to get a little bit closer with that pike. So you guys got five of those and then you got plank in and outs. So a lot of stuff in plank after you get finished with those lunges. Okay, so go back to your little sliders. Those balls with the feet in there. Do a little something, something, you know. If you got them all set up right, don't, don't do that. Most of y'all don't need to do that. I probably didn't even need to do that, but y'all definitely don't do that. Okay, so get to that plank, and then one foot at a time, in and out. You can come knee up, then out if you want to add a little bit more to it. Okay, I really like doing that. It's got a variation to take it up, but you guys got a total of 10 of those, so that's five on each side. Try to alternate those if you can, but core stability is a little bit of an issue. 
stay on the same leg, knock off five one way, knock off five the other way, okay? Four rounds of that, folks. Lunges, the pikes, and those plank in and outs. Four rounds, okay? Once you guys are finished with that four rounds, then we get to the odd object work. We got sit-ups, normal side planks, so with nothing at all, and then odd object step-ups, okay? So with the sit-ups, just grab your odd object. I got a little slam ball with me today, but of course you got a backpack, a bag. Everybody has pillowcases. And most of you have books you're not reading anymore. And your kids probably got a bunch of textbooks that they're not using right now. So there's your odd object, okay? Um, so start with the odd object across the chest. You can cross it over if you need to. Dig those heels into the ground. Come up for that full sit up. Okay, make sure you get about 20 of these. That's the rep count on that. Once you get finished, hit the side plank. 30 seconds on each side. Of course, if you need an option, drop that bottom knee down, line those knees up. Boom, pop the hips up. Make sure the hips are forward as you're doing that plank work, okay? 30 seconds on each side on that. Then whenever you guys get finished, odd object step up. Hopefully by now, you have found something in your house that you can do a step up on, whether it's, I wouldn't say a chair, because that could be unstable, um, but you know, if you have a box, in the garage that you found. A tire works fantastic, especially for all my truck people out there. You guys can be doing box jumps on tires. Uh, there's been gyms that have been doing that stuff forever, so definitely jump into that if you need to. Um, but anything that gives you elevation, like right now I got just like a 35 pound plate, that works just fine. Hit your step up, bring the foot back down, you can use your stairs. You got big feet on the stairs, take it to a lateral step up, bring it back down. Elevate the knee if you want to add the Russian love into it. No problem there, just get a little bit more heat. You guys got a total of 10 of those on each side, okay? So you got five rounds, sit-ups, side planks, and then step-ups to kind of finish off our low trunk work for the rest of the week. Once you get finished with that five rounds, make sure you take a break. Get yourself set up. You guys got 12 minutes on the Metcon, 400 meter run or cardio option, at least two minutes on that cardio option. When you're done with that, then you go into a bear crawl. Um, with the bear crawls, people, let's add some heat to these, okay? So I know you got the bear steps that I see people do a lot, but let's get that butt up and move, okay? We can deal with those bear steps on a different day. Today, we want bear crawls that are moving. Gotta remember, we're trying to get our heart rate as elevated as possible during this time frame. So even though the bear steps are wonderful for you, today we want regular booty in the air bear crawls get after it, okay? 10 push-ups after that, and then you finish up with V holds. And that V hold, once again, I'll show you from the side. We're just coming up, shoulders off the ground, toes pointed forward. Holding that for 30 seconds, okay? 12 minutes, goal should be about three to four rounds in that 12 minutes, okay? Once you guys get finished with that, you got your flexibility to shut it all down. Got your static cross body stretch, 30 seconds on each side, that scalene stretch that we did earlier in the week. Remember, hand behind the head, ear to elbow, switch it, ear to elbow, hit that scalene stretch. Finish up with that, hit the quads. 30 seconds on each side. And then we got that lateral stretch. So get nice and wide. Sit all your weight back in your heels. Keep that chest up. Get that stretch going through. Groin, side the hips. And when you switch, just try to transfer that weight over to the other side. Try not to change your feet placement or anything like that. Get that good stretch, okay? And as always, the Saturday, folks, you should be able to get about three rounds of that in if you want to. Uh, but if you only got time for a little bit, make sure you at least get one full round. And uh, yeah, so that is your workout for today, folks. Remember, tomorrow is your second rest day of the week. Um, if you took advantage of yesterday's rest day, you feel good after today's workout, you get out tomorrow, might want to do a little bit of jog, a little bit of yoga, something like that, that's fine. Um, We'll be right back at it on Monday. 
Uh, don't forget, Monday night, uh, 8 o'clock Central Time, we will be going live on air again from my illustrious office at the house. <laughs> uh, kind of talking about some of the challenges we've been seeing here in the first week, some stuff to look for in the upcoming weeks, and other ways that you can kind of take up your home workouts to make sure you're getting a benefit out of it. Remember folks, our goal is progression. So even though some of these movements might kind of repeat themselves, don't look at that as a bad thing. Don't look at that as I'm being bored. Um, that's a big issue that a lot of you guys have in fitness. You're just constantly jumping from one thing to the next and then you're wondering why there's no consistency in your body. Think about it. No consistency in the workout, no consistency in the results. It's a perfect equation, okay? So, we'll talk about all that on Monday. Other than that, you guys stay safe. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. See you again soon. Valkyrie Fitness out.